Today's video is going to be all about booleans in plasticity. We're going to talk about the basic boolean operations, but also about some really cool hidden tricks with booleans that you may not know of. Let's go. Now, if you're new to plasticity and you're a beginner or intermediate, we have a fantastic course for you, which is called Ultimate Guide to Plasticity. It's about 12 hours long and covers everything. You know, the UI, the tools, hard surface modeling course, which is in-depth. We're going to be modeling this fantastic sci-fi ship, including the interior. So you're going to learn a ton about curvature, you know, creating really smooth surfaces. And then at the end, there's an in-depth section on detailing, texturing, framing, composition, rendering, exporting to blender through the blender bridge and you're gonna learn like i said a ton so go ahead and grab it the link is in the video description and i see you inside now going back to the booleans in plasticity booleans in plasticity are quite easy but there are a lot of tips and tricks i can give you that you probably don't know about all right let's talk about the basic operations boolean operations in plasticity so first of all you got solids sheets and curves this is a solid right you also have sheets and you have curves. You can cut anything. So you can boolean anything. You can boolean solids, you can boolean sheets, and you can boolean curves. You can also use solids, sheets, and curves as cutters. So it's a little bit different than in Blender, right? Now here, uh, let's just grab another cube here, another box, and I'm going to show you a very basic difference boolean operation. Just like in Blender with box cutter, you see that it just simply cuts through. And when you left click, right click, you confirm and there's your boolean. If you want to keep the cutter alive, um, so you want to reuse the cutter, you can do that and press T and then press left click, right click, and you're going to have the same cut, but you're going to retain the cut. Right? Now, during performing the boolean cut, you can press shortcut keys like Q for solid boolean, Shift E for intersect, then you also have W for uh, the... Um, difference boolean you can see this on the on the bottom screen here right and sh and you can also press shift Q for slice so uh, if I left click right click you're gonna see that the operation will be performed and then all we need to do is nuke this cutter here and you got slice here and you know the cube right so these are very basic operations with solids now if you for example want to use sheets you can do it too uh, well let's just draw a sheet here so let's grab this uh, plane here like that now if I'm going to um, patch this and right click to confirm, you can see we're going to have a sheet. So I'm going to press 2 to remove this curve and nuke it. And now we can press 4 um, and you can, for example, cut uh, you know, this cube with this sheet. So the way you do that is you click on an object you want to cut, then you press C, then you select the cutter. And you can see there is a, there's kind of like a plane, red plane slicing through this cube, right? So I can confirm that and boom, there is your slice. And you can do the same thing with a curve. So watch, if I'm going to align here, press Shift A for this line curve, and I'm going to draw a curve here like this and confirm, I can select the cube, so four for solids, select the cube, press C, select the cutter, right, right click, and you're good to go. The same goes for curves, for example. So if I'm going to remove this, and let's say I'm gonna press one for points, I'm gonna bevel this, and let's say I wanted to trim this, uh, you know, with another curve. I can do that by simply drawing a line here. Now, when you want to cut curves, the, the shortcut is a little bit different. You press 2 for curves as or edges. You select the curve. Then you press Ctrl C. And then select the curve you want to use this cutter. And right click. And then you can just press X to delete everything. And then you go. You got your, you know, curve trimmed. And the same with faces or, or sheets, you just simply, you know, draw a cut and cut through it. So these will be the basic operations, you know, for booleans, but I want to show you some cool nifty tricks for boolean operations that you may not know of. So first of all, let's just grab a cube here, or in fact, let's just reset this to, um, you know, to a new scene. And I'm going to grab this uh, cylinder, cylinder here, and I'm going to um, create a very simple boolean. And what if I wanted to, you know, let's make it a little bit smaller, okay? So let's press two, uh, three for faces, select the face, make it a little bit smaller, and maybe move this one a little bit on the y-axis here, okay? So now let's say you wanted to uh, repeat this cut twice more, okay? So two more cuts, so you want to have three in total. You could retain the cutter, so by pressing T, so when you, you know, when you're performing the Boolean operation, right, you could just press T, 
uh, and then confirm and then grab this category cut it again but you know um, it's a bit annoying what you could do also you could select all these faces so click on the face in the bottom then uh, shift ctrl plus to expand the selection and then you can see here in the bottom if you have a newest version of plasticity you can just run an array on this so i can run an array in whichever direction i want uh, boom, and then I can specify the number of these cards. So let's just type three, and Bob's your uncle. And there you go. There's your you know arrayed bullion. So you can do that. You can also do this in um, you know in the radial array fashion. Um, so if you want, you could do this, right? So this is really cool. So you create a cut, and then you simply grab a radial array, and you you know select the point, the central point of your object, click, and you're done. And you got your radial array. This is pretty fast. Another really cool tip I can give you is for reusing cuts on a different, you know, let's say plane. So let's say that I had the angle here, I had the chamfer, okay, and I wanted to move this cut and repeat it on this surface. And I want the same depth, I want the same size, right? So, and let's say uh, in addition to all this, I had a bevel here, right? And I said, let's say I had a bevel, like a chamfer here. So I'm going to grab these faces with three, control, shift, plus to expand the selection. And now what I'm going to do, I'm going to press alt D. That will uh, basically take this cut, this boolean, fill it with mesh and invert it. So now what I have right if i move this okay so this is gz you see that it's just an inverted it's literally a boolean cutter that's gonna create identical shape right so now you got two options with this you know if you wanted to move this uh, cut on a flat surface you just simply go to the face select shift control plus to expand this alt d to copy that move this in here now you can apply this and then you can just simply grab this mesh uh, shift click on this mesh press Q and you got yourself another boolean but if you want to move it in here you can use another trick okay so let me show you so we're gonna select all these faces one more time with alt D and then we're gonna press ctrl D and you got this gizmo right you want to select the cutter here so um, just run on top of this until it snaps to the middle point here right you click to grab this you see and I, I, I have it and you move it to the surface here. You see, it's aligning to the surface we we want to drop it on. So let's drop it in here somewhere, right? And then we can choose an operation. For example, W for difference. So press W, right click, and you got yourself a boolean. You can keep repeating that um, on you know as many times as you want. You can do it in here and right click, or here and right click, here and right click. It's going to automatically align to uh, the face until you you know cancel the operation with escape so this is a really fast way of creating details on your mesh and sort of copying you know uh, existing existing shapes another trick with bullions and cutting stuff is cutting multiple curves with one curve so let's say you got this uh, curve here and we're going to array this to just make it you know quicker and i wanted to let's say cut it with another curve that goes like this, okay? So I'm gonna apply this. So the way you do that, you press C, then you press C again, then you select the curve you wanna cut, and then you shift select the curve you wanna cut with. Then you confirm, and you see now I can delete these, and I'm gonna have this kind of like a wavy pattern, you know, cut through. Okay, well that's it for the video, thanks for watching, and like I said, check out our plasticity course, it's fantastic. In only 12 hours, you're going to be able to learn everything you need to know about plasticity, how to model hard surface, how to bring it to Blender, how to detail it, how to texture it, how to render it, and how to create beautiful pieces for your portfolio. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one.